So we just came out with Replay Converter 3.0. It's a super great uh, conversion program, and it now has uh, the capability to um, burn uh, to CD or DVD. It's right here. So I'm going to um, first just quickly show you a little bit about this um, uh, this interface and sort of some of the options, and then I'll um, take some YouTube videos that I downloaded using Replay Media Catcher, which is another program we sell that uh, works beautifully and I'll burn them to DVD. So first and foremost, so here is uh, the main um, menu, main screen of the program. Um, I'll walk through some of this. I wanted to show you though, um, uh, to convert to video file sort of s some of the standard formats that are uh, highlighted here, just to make it easy for you. You've got AVI, um, iPod video, 3GP, which is for cell phone, um, MOV, which is the QuickTime format, MPEG-4, which is also iPod, MPEG-2, um, WMV, and then if you wanted to add more video formats, you can. You just click on that, and you can actually convert to Flash now, which is pretty cool. Um, and, and then just there are a whole other uh, host of options in here. Um, and all you got to do if you wanted to add a format is just click on it. Like say I wanted to convert to Flash um, and just click add and then it gets added to um, uh, your little menu here. Here it is. Right, right there. Um, so just wanted to show you that uh, there is a, a user guide. You can access it by clicking on the question mark. Um, it'll also tell you that you can customize your conversions. Um, if you if you don't want to just use the default settings. Um, so it, it can be a pretty advanced program, but it's also very easy to use as I'm going to show you now. So i um, got it open. I'm going to click Add Files. Um, it's um, uh, taken me out to my computer and I'm now in my recordings folder. Um, the default actually is I think it takes you to the Replay Converter 3 folder. So and then you just need to find wherever your your recordings are that you want to convert or your files are rather that you want to convert. Um, these are YouTube videos as I mentioned. I'm going to click on um, just the top three. Uh, oops, sorry, I just did that one. So I made a mistake so I just want to remove it. Easy to do. Uh, do the second one and do the third one. So I have two Coldplay videos and a um, Tupac Shakur video. Okay, so then I need to put a um, blank DVD into my uh, burner, which I'm going to do right now. I hadn't done that before. Um, so that's done. All right, so then um, do I want to save it to the same folder? Um, uh, actually, okay, that's fine. Um, but if I wanted to make it to a new folder, I would just click on that and then I can browse and um, you know, make a new folder easy enough to do, but I'm going to save it to the same folder. Do I want to convert to video file? Do I want to convert to audio? Or do I want to burn a CD DVD? I actually want to burn a CD DVD. So, and then um, it changes your target format options when you click on that to bring up their four different um, burn settings, basically an audio CD, a data CD, um, there's uh, DVD NTSC, which is the, the version that's used in the United States for DVD players here, and then there's DVD PAL, which is the UK version. Um, and I'm not sure where else PAL is used, but it may be um, throughout Europe. But anyway, for the purposes, for my purposes, um, since my DVD players use the NTSC format, I'm going to burn a DVD here for the US. Um, I wanted to show you how long this process takes. So just to give you some idea, first of all, um, you know, I'm doing three videos, <coughs> converting three. They're all about three or four minutes long. Um, uh, I'm going to pull up a little online stopwatch, bring it over here. Um, I'm going to click go, I'm going to click start here, and then I'm going to click go, and I will pop back in here to show you how the conversion is going and how the burn process is going. So uh, stay tuned. So it's just finished converting, and it is uh, about four, a little over four minutes, and it's just brought up the Welcome to the CD DVD Burn Wizard, so I'm going to click Next here. Um, the default setting here is for this SPTI um, transport method, um, so I'm going to leave it at that because it also says only use this other version of SPTI doesn't work, so I'm going to click Next. Um, it is scanning my system for my burner, found it, so I click Next. Um, burning mode, track at once, that's actually all my system will allow, so I'm going to keep that. I'm not going to do a test burn, which will just simulate burning. I don't need to do that, so I'm clicking Next. Um, yes, I want uh, to send optimum power calibration, um, and then in terms of burning speed, it's set at the highest that my system will allow, so I click Next. 
Um, it's now authoring the DVD. I think there's one more little dialog box I'm going to have to check before the DVD finishes burning, but I will pop back and show you that when it pops up. Okay, so this option summary uh, dialog box just popped up um, saying review the data and before proceeding with the burning. So uh, this is everything that I just agreed to in those previous screens, so I'm just going to click next. And now it's starting um, the burn process. So I will pause again until it is done. Thanks. Okay, so um, just a few seconds ago, I got the uh, little box that my burn was successful, and the uh, DVD popped out of um, popped out of my burner. So very exciting, um, very successfully burned. I'm going to actually um, open my default DVD player and show you. Um, how beautiful the quality of the DVD is. So I brought up the VLC player to um, show you the quality of the DVD. Um, I know on playback when you see this recording the play of the DVD is going to look jerky. It's not jerky for me. It's just that you're seeing a recording of a recording. Um, what you should focus on is really just the quality of the picture. So anyway, I'm going to hit play. This is the um, this is the Tupac video, um, and then this is the Coldplay video, and again my playback is smooth and lovely. So and then then here's the final Coldplay video. So um, uh, that's all there was to it. It was really straightforward, as I think you saw. It kind of did everything for me. Um, for more information about the program, let me pull up the site for you. You want to go to um, replay-converter.com. I'm just opening up our home page. Go to products. There it is, Replay Converter. We've got a lot of products worth checking out, you can see. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you check out the program. It really is so cool to use. And have some fun. Adios.